we can't do the one with sound until you're 12 weeks. Okay. But at least you can uh, see and measure it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely gross. That's great. Yeah. What's up guys? Happy Monday. Um, today I am going to take you through a whole day in the life of me um, and what um, I eat all day, what supplements I still take. Um, I'm on my way to work right now so we'll kind of show you my office and what I do um, and that's really it. So right now I am drinking my morning smoothie. Um, it has mango, kale, broccoli, spinach, um, a bunch of other stuff. I'll put the macros and all the ingredients and everything else. Um, almond milk, Greek yogurt, a bunch of other stuff. But it's really good, super filling. It gets me, my drive to work is about an hour, eh, like 45 minutes to an hour with traffic. So um, this shake gets me through until I get to work. And then I'll show you everything that I eat while I'm actually at work. So here we go. So for breakfast I had my shake, um, and then for vitamins, I have my handy little thing. I take one digestive enzyme, uh, 1000 milligram vitamin C, two of the CLA Smart Blend, um, one vitamin D, one prenatal, one cranberry, and then one probiotic. It's all the vitamins I take every single morning. I have the Opez business cards and that clean energy project right up. I was going to start because my plate's kind of uh, empty today, so I was hoping to get started on some of the websites, but um, I haven't it's gotten any. It's about 10.34 right now. I had my breakfast this morning around 7.30, um, and then I finished it around 8, 8.15, so it's been a few hours since I've eaten, so I'm just going to snack on some strawberries. And this is probably about two cups worth of grapes, um, but I'm just going to snack on that the next couple of hours, and then I'll probably have lunch around 12.30, 1 o'clock. All right, so it's about 12 o'clock. Um, I forgot that I had an appointment today to go get tested for Zika. Um, Kevin and I actually conceived in Miami. Um, so with that, like you can get bit by mosquitoes and Zika actually lives in his sperm for over six months. So um, they just wanna, you know, make test me, make sure that uh, with conceiving there and traveling there twice within November and December um, of possibly being pregnant that I don't have it. So. Um, that's at 1. I need to leave here around 12.30, so I'm eating lunch a little bit early, but this is what I'm having. Uh, it's a sweet potato with the chicken gut, or with sweet potato gutted out of it, and then chicken and onion topped inside. And then the sweet potato I took out is topped on top. And then some green beans. Um, and then here's some black beans, brown rice, green beans, and carrots. I believe that's all that's in there. Um, this is probably about two cups worth, but I'm obviously not going to eat all that. This is a ton of food. Um, but my mom just came for the weekend and made us a lot of food to prep and keep for over the week. So this will be my lunch today. So I'm still eating very clean, I'm sure you can tell. Um, but it's very different from how I was eating when I was on competition prep. Um, I hardly had any veggies and I definitely never ate any fruit. I really just was really high in protein and carbs. Um, so I was extremely malnourished in all my micronutrients that just my body needs to function appropriately. Um, so I was supplementing a lot of stuff like vitamin D, um, vitamin C, a ton of other stuff I was just taking just because I wasn't getting those vitamins in my food. So now I'm eating for a much different purpose. I'm eating for nourishing myself and my baby. So um, my food is definitely going to reflect that. So I'm not going to have this pregnancy where I'm eating for two and just going to eat like crap. Um, I'm definitely still eating for a purpose. Um, so yeah, hopefully my weight can stay down as far as like gaining actual fat. I need to increase my fat, my body fat total because I was very lean whenever I got pregnant. Um, but again, I'm going to do that through eating like natural healthy or actual healthy fats like avocado, um, almond butter, cashews, stuff like that that's still very healthy for you. I'm not going to go have like a Big Mac 
for lunch every day. <laughs> These beans are so good. I'll get the recipe for my mom and post them in the bio. And everything that I'm eating isn't just for, obviously, like, you don't have to be pregnant to eat the way that I'm eating. So, um, any of the recipes that you want of stuff that you see that I'm eating, um, let me know and I'll start putting them on my website if that's something you guys would be interested in. Comment below and just tell me. Just got here to get my Zika testing and it's like a full on the health district. It's a huge ass building. <laughs> this is ridiculous. while I was in there and they're like super crazy about it like no oh, it's illegal you can't record while you're getting blood drawn blah 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 so couldn't record while I was in there but I basically just had to get one tube of blood drawn and then take or pee in a cup and I'll find out in about a week and a half or two weeks if I have Zika <laughs> so they're saying that I can't have sex for six months with Kevin unless I wear a condom because it can live in his sperm for that long um, and this whole thing is absolutely insane to me. It's ridiculous, but you can never be too safe with a baby But I basically told him that's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna have sex with my boyfriend with a condom when I'm already pregnant so um, There's that <laughs> but he didn't get bit by mosquito. I didn't get bit by a mosquito We don't have any of the symptoms of Zika. So this whole thing is absolutely crazy to me, but got that test in out of the way so I should find out in a couple weeks on um, how to move forward I guess so headed back to work now finish up the rest of the day and then um, I had my lunch and then I'm gonna have probably another snack before I go home and then I'll have dinner and then hit the gym so that's my that's my long boring day <laughs> about 3 30 um, I'm getting pretty hungry again I haven't eaten since my lunch at 12 30 and I actually did eat all of those beans and all those potatoes so I'll have to give you the macros for that because I ate the whole thing so um, I'm on my second one of these so I'm about three-fourths of a gallon down um, I try to be at a gallon a day um, definitely no less than a gallon a day um, so right now I'm going to snack on some carrots and celery and then I have some organic hummus I'm going to eat with it as well. So um, I'll give you guys the macros to all of that. And then when I get home, Kevin and I are going to cook some dinner. Um, and we'll calculate the macros for all those. Alright, so I just got home. I'm going to cook up some dinner. Faye's over there doing dishes. <laughs> you look sexy right now, babe. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to make some spinach and cheese ravioli for Kevin and I and going to use some mushroom alfredo sauce and then I'm going to have a side of broccoli and that's going to be our dinner but right now I'm going to have this last whole pickle with bumps book and it's literally just all sodium. It's only one carb, five calories.